Hey guys, welcome back to KevDev. Uh, this is part two of the ongoing series where I build a app to release on the Google Play Store. Um, so if you haven't, I'll drop the link to part one of the tutorial uh, so you can go ahead and follow along and get up to speed. All right, for this tutorial, uh, what I initially want to start with was a brief introduction to uh, Kivi and installing it. But for the most part, um, I'm going to assume that uh, already you kind of know how to get it all set up. If you don't, I've got the website up here. You can just kind of follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but for the most part, um, I've also dropped a link to my blog post that kind of goes through the whole thing, the entire process. So if you're having issues, I'll drop the link there again, and you'll be able to follow along. Uh, but for the most part, what this short tutorial was going to be about was um, you need a way to be able to test your Kivi apps on a device. Um, so right now, once you get everything set up, um, you'll be able to both test it on your computer and also on your device. Um, we're going to start uh, with... Uh, it, 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 it's going to be an application called uh, Kivi Launcher. Um, now, to be completely honest, if your goal is to move from uh, releasing a app on the Play Store or the iOS Store, um, eventually you're going to have to move on to um, a packaging application called Buildozer, uh, which is going to require you to use Linux. Right now, everything I'm working on, since I'm on Windows, uh, that's pretty much what the tutorial pertains to. Um, however, just know that for the purposes of testing, we'll be working with Kivi Launcher. But going forward on the tutorial, I will be able to show you how to set up a virtual machine. Um, if you don't have Linux um, installed on your computer, so you're able to follow along with the next steps um, in our tutorial. Uh, but for now, let's jump into it. Okay, so right now I've got a new file open um, in Python IDLE. So just follow along with me and do as I type. All right, save it. Let's see. Make sure I don't have a man already over. Okay. okay, now just looking ahead, I saved it to main. Um, there's one extra thing that I'm going to need to do, though. So let's see if I can. Go back. Okay. All right. So the next step, you can just open any type of text editor. It doesn't really matter. But I want a title. All right, 
save as. Okay. And I skip this step just to make sure that everything is running properly. You should see something like this. All right, and there you go. A button that says hello world. All right, so all that is set. Um, the only thing I have to do now, um, and this is very important. One of, uh, I guess, the, the major roadblocks a lot of people have when they're testing out Kibbe Launcher is um, they wonder uh, why isn't Kibbe Launcher actually recognizing um, their test app? Um, I feel like 90% of the problems people run into are because the path isn't specified correctly. So I'm going to show you real quick using the device that I have connected. You're going to go into the internal storage and you see all of my folders come up now here you will see that I have a Kivi folder here. Uh, one thing you should know is that it's not going to automatically generate a Kivi folder when you download the Kivi launcher. So when you go in, uh, it's not enough to just copy and paste your app over. You need to create a new folder, Kivi, and then you're going to take your app you're going to take the folder and you're going to drop it into the Kibi folder. Um, so now essentially when you go ahead and you boot up the Kibi launcher, you will be able to find, uh, it's going to say for in my, uh, in my example, it's going to say my app and you're going to be able to launch it from there. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, um, the Kibi launcher is great for initial testing of your app because it's relatively quick and it's a painless way to see how your app looks uh, and you can test some very simple functions. However, if your aim is to package and release the app, then you're eventually going to have to get down and dirty with uh, an application like Buildozer, uh, which is also pretty user friendly. It's also pretty simple um, until you get to the last step, which is actually releasing on Play Store, um, in my case, or, you know, or the uh, iOS App Store. Um, lastly, I want to tell you that if you want to go ahead and jump ahead and see uh, the finished project um, for the app, um, I will also drop a link for you as well. But uh, other than that, I'm going to stop it there. Um, until next time.